That's the topic of our next speaker speech. I'd like to introduce David Delmar. Your kids change, you change. Your kids change, you change. David Delmar. Uh, okay, who here has children? Raise your hand. Okay, so pretty, pretty good number of everybody. Um, well, I've got two kids. I've got an older son who's four and my younger daughter who's two. Uh, so for the sake of this talk, I'm just going to be focusing on my older son. And this talk is going to be a bit subjective, so that means you sort of make up your, you know, your own opinion about it based on your own experience. So, do your kids change you, or do your kids change with you, or do you change with your kids? Well, I'm going to take you through three different areas of this. The first one is going to be my life before I had children. So, hey David, there's a there's a great concert in town this weekend. Just jam band that's uh, you know everybody's kind of really excited about. You want to go see it? Yeah, it'd be great. Uh, I'll you know I'll prepare for it all day. Or at the doctor's office, and uh, you know, David. So we need to follow. We need to follow up with you. We need to follow up with you in a couple of weeks. What time and what day is best for you? Well, what time or day is best for you? Uh, <laughs> I've, I've got plenty of time, so you know, you shoot something at me, and we'll, we'll call it good. Or uh, oh, because I actually have time to watch the TV. Oh, that movie that, that comes out today. Oh man, I really, really wanted to see that. Well, I might as well just go to the matinee. Uh, I got, you know, an open schedule today, so why not? So for me, my life before I had kids was very much the, uh, I was very self-serving and very much a sort of me, 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 all day me. So I thought that was freedom that I really liked but the bottom line is that I really wanted to have a greater bit of responsibility in my life. I really wanted more to do. And I really wanted a family. And I wanted children. So, moving forward, I, I meet my wife back in the Midwest where I'm from. And we court for a little while. She was very patient. It was kind of a long while. But uh, we get married and the talk of having children comes up. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's that's that time. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do that, you know. <laughs> and so, I really didn't know that procreation was something I was capable of doing. I thought throughout high school that didn't like happen on accident. That it just wasn't something I could do, you know. Some <laughs> thought I had in my mind. But a week later, hey, I did washing the dishes. I want to talk to you something. It's my wife. Uh, sure. Yeah. What's going on? And she shows me the, the pregnancy test, and it's blue. I'm like, oh, right. I'm hugging. And she's all hugging, and on the other side, my eyes are like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, this, uh, this is real now. So <laughs> the delivery room that night, no sleep, changing diapers, the, the crying. It's like, oh, my gosh, the next morning, that was rough. And I realized that that was going to be my new reality. So moving a couple years into the future, my son is forcing me to change with him because he was developing some behavioral issues. Uh, not, they call it non-compliance. And uh, you know, I, I'm kind of like, OK, is that a diagnosis or something? But it's still something going on today. He's getting sort of specialized uh, training with it. And, and I'm having to change with him because I realized that he's mirroring everything that I do. And I'm understanding that I can't like miss a beat. I feel like I feel like I've always got to be on. I can't make any mistakes. And I'm already going from like, you know, a world where it's all me, where it's all the kids now. I'm, I'm still working in that transition place, right? But he like is reminding me how much I've got to be on my game and I'm understanding that I'm changing with him because I have to. Because I promised myself and I promised my wife that I would be the best husband I can possibly be. I made a commitment and it's been very hard. But I understand that today, as we continue to work and grow, to grow together and get better together, that we are changing with each other. And the struggles are still there. But as 
we are changing together, I'm understanding that. Where before it used to be, if you want to be an adult and act like a child, have children and you'll grow up real fast. But to really, to really connect with a child or your children, you really got to kind of get down on their level and look at them in the eye and, and you've got you've to act like a child. So this parenting thing's pretty tricky, but um, yeah, it's really worth it. Thanks. Thank you, David, for that great speech. Anyone here who are his parent knows that it is not always fun and games like it is for the kiddos. Let's take a minute to prepare a written evaluation. And thank you, David, for.